Good morning, YouTube. Devin Burris here, Power Shine Pressure Washing, Valdosta, Georgia. Got my hoses all laid out. Machine is running. Uh, house isn't terribly dirty. Um, actually washed this house before, um, probably three years ago. One of the first houses I actually ever washed. And uh, so it's just in need of a little love and care. So we're gonna get this, get this rocking and rolling. And turn my, this is different for me. I haven't done this uh, filming in a, in a minute, but that's all right. Little air in the line. Wet down some of this. I'm waiting on chemicals to come through. Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's okay though. I got bleach wide open. Fun stuff. It's really not that bad. Um, hard to pick up in video. There's some green and just little stuff here and there, crud, bugs, all of that. All of that fun stuff. Um, it is currently 10.57. Kind of got a late start today. Talked to the guy for a little while. Hung out. Um, good guy. Known him for a long time. So we just kind of spent some time building that client relationship a little bit more. And, uh, yeah. Should be drawn chemicals here in just a second yep there we go so something I've been really focused on is annual clients um, just trying to you know focus on getting those relationships again we're not going too heavy here with chemicals. We're just going just enough to kind of knock the uh, green off of it. But garnering those relationships with your clients annually and letting them know that, hey, we're going to come and take care of your house for you every year. And it'd be something that you know, that they can rely on. It's such a big lead driver for us. So, it's kind of what I put attention on. Put a lot of focus into. And, uh, I will say, in all transparency, clients, a lot of my annuals, uh, I've got a few that, you know, they, they're fine. They want their house washed every year. And, um, you know, like clockwork, uh, but there's clients like this guy, uh, he reaches out after three years and there's no like big deal, but then there's just going to be a little bit more upkeep, a little bit more maintenance, uh, as far as the wash goes, you know, just a little bit more to do. And I don't mind that. But I think that realizing and understanding that that's how some clients work is a part of business that they don't tell you, you know. Not every annual client is going to actually be an annual client. I'm sorry that I'm I'm not doing that good of a job videoing here. Um, but... I think just kind of trust in the process that people, if you do good work, people will call you back whenever it's time. Uh, 
to have it washed again, you know, on their schedule. And it's not really based on you. It's not based on what you think, or what you can do. It's really based on what they need. The sooner you understand that, the sooner you'll be happy. So just because they're not calling you, you know, like clockwork every year, even if you reach out and follow up and they change their mind or they, they cancel and they change their plans, like don't get downheartened because eventually it's going to get dirty again and they're going to call you back. But I'm going to go ahead and get to washing and I'll get back with you in just a few minutes. Okay, we're in rinse mode now. Got two sides of the house soaked already. And something I thought about that I wanted to share with you guys Aside from, you know, the annual agreements and all that, you know, like we talked about, you got annual contracts with people or just an agreement to come and take care of their property year round. <sighs> Something else is garnering those relationships. Like for me, I just got hooked up with a property management company. And so they, uh, currently they gave me nine jobs um, that I got to go take care of and no time frame or anything really just as quick as I want to make the money uh, It's kind of up to me as far as that goes They left it that way But that came out of a relationship that I have with a previous client and You know letting my reputation speak for me uh, Doing good work quality work and the thing is, is well, that isn't really what I was wanting to get at. What, I, what I'm really trying to focus on and say was, you know, plans change. Like today, my plan had been to wash this house and then go and wash, uh, I don't know, as many as I could fit three or four more in today. But it didn't turn into that. And you kind of got to be okay with you have to be okay with the, the change of plan, you know? Um, something that I'm not typically okay with is letting my plans just drastically change, especially when it comes to work or something like that. You know, I like to have things figured out and know what it is that I'm doing. And... I don't want to overwork myself either, um, but I've seen too many guys get burnt out, and they get burnt out early in this in this game, and this is a marathon for me. Pressure washing is the long run. I don't have a backup plan. Um, I've done a few other things in my life, and I really enjoy washing homes, and so... I don't really have a backup plan as far as that's concerned. So I think that's something to keep in mind. Like, I want to be able to do it long term. I want to be able to continue to do it to a point that I don't burn myself out. And it's not always the easiest, but sometimes it, it means sacrificing some jobs that I was planning to do for the sake of really focusing on one client that I've already garnered a relationship with and uh, getting a later start. So, you know, anyways, I got three sides soaked the one over here. I got this whole front side soaked and all the way down this side, um, letting it dwell for just a few minutes. Uh, I kind of get in a rush, you know, it flies by quick and I'm, I'm wanting to rinse it, rinse it, rinse it, but I need to let it sit there for a minute. So, uh, kind of what I'm doing I have not hooked up my water as far as turning it on yet curious to see how that goes I was carrying uh, about 200 250 gallons I believe when I got here and then I soaked those three sides and I've just started rinsing and I'm down to about 130 gallons of water I've got my water hooked up here I just haven't turned it on yet so we we'll go ahead and turn that on uh, I don't I don't want to carry a ton of water around and I don't feel like dumping it here so I'm trying to 
play it, you know, play it by ear. But I'm going to wash the back of this, wash this little thing all under all of this. Why isn't it focused? There we go. I'm going to wash the, uh, the back of this house under here. Beautiful property right in the middle of a little small town. And, uh, yeah, I'll be done in just a few minutes rinsing on the front and down this side, and then I'm going to soap all of this. I don't know if I'm going to get any video of that, but definitely take some video of the after. Um, you know, it's just just mold and yummy, yummy mold, too. Black mold. Uh, all that should come off, look pretty clean, look pretty good. Yeah, baby. All right, here you go. See the uh, yellow discoloration? I got a little uh, aluminum brightener, a rust aid, whatever you want to call it, and a zip bottle. It's not been cut at all, just straight. And watch, it's an immediate reaction. No brushing. Boom. And I think there's some over here. I haven't tried it on the siding. I don't know if it's going to do anything to that or not, but let that hang out for a minute, see if it uh, does anything. Drastically improve that window, though. Not sure if it's going to touch that that's on the siding, but the window looks looks great. Go ahead and uh, I already turned my chemicals on, but I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off. I don't want to let that stuff sit on the window. I'm not doing this concrete. I did it in the past. Did this little pad. Did this area. It needs to be done again, but I didn't want to do it today, so. Spray a little uh, mix on it. There we go. All right, gonna go ahead and get soaping. Okay, so I'm all done soaping the whole house. So before I rinse, what I'm gonna do is come over here, turn my bleach off, and open up water. And now that's coming through the same line, but that's gonna flush out my injector, gonna flush out my proportioner. flush out the line and it'll help keep everything uh, running as long as it possibly can. Sort of a preventative maintenance kind of thing where if you don't do it, you'll regret it. And uh, if you do it, you'll thank yourself later. Um, I still have chemicals in the line and then I'm going to be flushing it out already. You can see this stuff working. Uh, I'm going to hit that again real quick put my rag away I went ahead and put some house wash on all this concrete just because it's not like it really needs it but I'll just go back through here and spot hit some of these places that maybe need a another touch uh, I've been careful about that outlet and just sprayed all around it. I know some guys would say I absolutely have to tape it up, but I already talked to the client about it. Told him I was just going to avoid this whole section. So I watched from this door over and from that door over. And so nothing's getting on there. Um, he was cool with that.
This stuff's only been sitting for just a, I mean, just a minute, guys. It doesn't take that long. It's, uh, you know, 700 degrees outside today. So, um, good thing is it's only supposed to get up to, uh, I think, 945 degrees. So, <laughs> it's one of the joys of South Georgia. It is currently 1139. I'm going to rinse all this and then I'll be done. Uh, it's taken me a little bit longer than I, you know, I typically like. A little bit longer than usual, but that's just because, you know, I'm trying to video. Haven't done this in a while. And uh, usually I'm flying through here doing this stuff. And honestly, for me, the longest, the longest part of this whole job is this, this right here. The sitting and the waiting, like spraying chemicals on, easy, and fly through it. Uh, can coat the whole house in no time. And then it's just sitting there giving it dwell. So usually what I like to do is wash multiple sides of the house. And then uh, the only reason I didn't do all four sides of this house and then come back and rinse my way around is because of the fact that they have this going on. And I wanted to I knew that would take me a little bit longer and I didn't want to leave the chemicals on the front and on the sunny side, uh, you know, possibly flash the windows, etc. I've experienced that in the past and it is a pain to deal with. So one of the best ways to keep your windows from flashing if it's hot is pre-wet them and then keep them wet during the whole job. So you don't have to, you know, go through what I went through. Uh, letting it dry on there. Um, I talked to him about roof washing. So he said that they put this roof on about three years ago. I advised him that, you know, it'd probably be good to go ahead and maybe get your roof treated initially. With this being a more new roof, manufacturers suggest doing it every two years and you can already see some discoloration here. With it being under these pecan trees, pecan, pecan, whatever you want to call them. I'm from the South, we call them pecan trees. Underneath there, uh, they drop these and they stain the roof really bad. Uh, kind of like an acorn wood, got a lot of tannin in it. So a roof treatment would really do well on his home. So I tried to just advise him about it and uh, maybe it's something I come back and do in the future. But yeah, we're almost done and I think we're going to go grab some lunch after this, maybe wrap up the day. I got some projects at home I got to knock out and then we're... We're just loaded for this week. I know I have, uh, I got three projects on the books. And then like I mentioned earlier, I got in with a property management company and they have handed me nine jobs so far that I've yet to do. So I'm going to try and squeeze those in this week. So that puts us at 12 jobs uh, on the week. So pretty, pretty loaded as far as work goes which is good and maybe they can keep it coming in and then there's always people calling in and uh you know wanting quotes and estimates and i gotta run and do that so anyways yeah um i'll give you guys a final look once i get all this rinsed off and uh get it wrapped up all right guys all rolled up wrapped up all done it is 11:55, so took about an hour to do this job um, and that's with a whole lot of waiting around sitting around uh, rinsed off all this concrete for him everything come out really nice and clean um, all of these details that had a bunch of mold and algae black mold all of that's gone rinsed off cleaned up really well super uh, super happy with it like I said concrete needs to be done but uh, no he didn't want to do that right now so he was really just mainly focused on this side this is the north side of the house and it had a bunch of green mold and all of that um, you can see down here in this corner that rust aid it did a little bit it, it didn't take it a hundred percent off uh, it did on the window however take it all off so excited about that um, yeah, already been paid. Got everything rolled up. Just wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit of what it looks like afterwards. Beautiful home. Beautiful part of town. Um, 
anyways, I'm going to head to the house, grab something to eat, get to work in the backyard, and uh, catch you guys on the next one. Have a good day.